Hey folks, it's Dag, and this video, folks, is of a Flex Cessna 170 I'd modified into an Army plane. We had uh, put two Estes rockets on it, and I later found out that this is totally against the AMA code of ethics, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm a safety freak, and I do follow the AMA. This test flight was just to prove that the airplane was stable with the two Estes rockets mounted on their pylons. There was an onboard electronic system that was used to launch the rockets, but I'm not going to dive into that because I don't really want to teach people how I did this since this isn't uh, basically the you know accepted rules of the Academy of Model Aeronautics, okay, folks? And I, I really do try to do my best to follow the rules. Uh, this video right here was just my buddy Eamon Kelly chasing my Cessna around as... I uh, did some slow flight with it and uh, just wanted to make sure the plane flew stable with these rockets uh, mounted under the wing. And uh, the thing on the top of the fuselage there is the uh, electronics uh, with the PCB board and all the things that were inside it to help launch it. So I'm not going to go into how we did that, but um, I could launch each rocket independently. So uh, yeah, so let's get into the rest of this video. So I have super slowed down this video here, folks, to like, I think, one-tenth the speed. And uh, here we were aimed out over cornfields, not aimed toward any people at all. I was going to pitch the airplane up to launch the rocket, but to be honest, I just got kind of uh, in my own head making sure it wasn't pointed toward people, and I really forgot to pitch the plane up when I fired the rocket. And uh, it's a really cool video here, but keep in mind, folks, this, the AMA doesn't condone this, but I wanted to share these cool videos. So uh, this is perfect. The uh, uh, rocket actually deployed the parachute about a foot from the ground. The rocket was not hurt, but uh, yeah. Okay, on this next video here, you're going to see it launch at a high angle of attack right here. And I'll slow this down and show you in a minute. The drone took off chasing the rocket. As you can see, the rocket was aimed out way over the cornfields. On this one, the parachute did deploy. It took the drone a long time to find it. Um, Eamon was chasing it as fast as he could. And uh, you can see right there the parachute with the rocket under it. And he follows it all the way to the ground. We did have a hook on our drone. So if we couldn't reach the rocket, we would recover the rocket with the drone by just grabbing the parachute with the hook. And uh, I got to be honest, folks, this is pretty cool, but it does break all the rules. And I would really recommend not breaking the rules if you want to have AMA insurance. And this was rocket launch number two. And uh, the drone chased it, followed it all the way to the ground. Um, you know, folks, we only did three launches or four launches before I decided not to do any more because I just didn't want to break the rules. Once it was pointed out to me, uh, and I think it was after this fourth launch, somebody came up and said, hey, you know, this doesn't meet the AMA. I was like, well, sure it does. And then we looked it up online and found out, no, uh, you can't do this. Folks, I really thought back in the day, as long as we aimed a, you know, the nose up on an airplane, we could fire a model rocket from it. But evidently you can't. So, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd and a safety freak, and I definitely do not want to break the rules. Okay, there's the uh, rocket under the parachute, and actually this time it landed back on the field. Um, but, yeah, we only did four of these because I didn't want to break any more rules. So, folks, this is the, uh, I think it was the number two launch, or number three launch uh, that we did uh, testing this missile program. It's really sucks it, that, you know, this does not meet the Academy model aeronautics rules. I understand it. They don't want people firing model rockets from airplanes and we've got to follow the AMA rules folks so that the government doesn't need to have a reason to clamp down on us. The reason I'm showing this video honestly is that it is a blast. It was really neat, but I think there were people watching this that thought, okay, this is normal. This is allowed. It's not. And I know there's going to be people saying, well, why are you showing the video? Because the video is freaking cool. Okay, that's the reason I'm showing the video. I just want to make it very clear that I'm not the one who wants to break the rules. Uh, I'm a safety freak, a nerd. But this was really, really cool. It was just really excellent. That the I guess I'm proud of just the fact that it works so flawlessly. Okay, so here is the uh, last one that we did. And uh, then I just decided to not do any more because I didn't want to break the rules. Uh, it was actually after this flight that somebody told me I was breaking the rules. Okay, so 
you know, uh, for what it is, folks, it's just really cool. And the fact that we could, you know, chase the rocket with the drone. Eamon Kelly is probably one of the, the best drone pilots I've ever met in my life. And my buddy Berger was the one who kind of helped me understand um, how to do some of the stuff in this. So maybe I shouldn't be mentioning their names because, you know, we're all, you know, part of this crime. But it was just really, really cool, folks, and I wanted to share it. So, but it breaks all the rules. Now, if these were guided missiles, my understanding is, is that it's legal under the code. So I'm going to leave the video with this um, last super slow motion launch of the missile. And just to be clear, um, if you have a guided rocket, uh, and I guess I shouldn't say guided missile, but if you have something that is guided and you launch it, I believe, above uh, 60 degrees from the ground uh, with a rocket powered like a rocket plane uh, that you could land, that it is allowed under the AMA. I'm going to dig into this a little bit more. But uh, if this would have been like a little X-15 that we could have actually glided down and landed and fired it from a rocket on the plane or an X-1, like a Bell X-1, it would have met the uh, codes of the AMA. But firing a non-guided or a non-controllable uh, missile, um, even though it has a parachute on it, I believe does not meet the AMA code. So um, rock on everybody. I just I just wanted to share these because they are really cool. And I try to share everything I do on my YouTube. But I also want to make it really clear, folks, that, um, you know, we can't do this. Uh, <laughs> and I know there's going to be people. It's going to be amazing how I blow up the Internet when people say, well, why did you show the video? Well, that's just the way it is. Rock on. Have an awesome day. And lighten up, folks. Uh, be safe. Bye-bye.